Jason Brashears, better known as Archaix, is a self-taught historian and very popular simulation theorist. Archaix has developed an in-depth philosophical framework behind the nature of our reality, which logically ties in simulation theory, or the simulacrum as he calls it, and recorded historical events. He predominantly does this using isometric analysis, which is the method of studying the palindromic spacing of events forward and backwards in linear time to determine historical accuracy or predict future events. Archaics has been able to demonstrate repeatedly that our reality is governed by a strict arithmetic by showing patterns of reported historical events happening within predictable time frames. For example, I tested Archaics' theory by tracing back the length of time between our recent pandemic and that of the Spanish flu. There is a hundred year separation between the two. When looking back at recorded history, one can trace back uniquely historical pandemics occurring every previous 100 years until just about the beginning of recorded history. This has led Archaics to theorize that we live in an artificial copy of a real system that doesn't operate like a looped palindrome. Most central to the isometric analysis of Archaics is a cycle known as the Phoenix Phenomenon. This is an ancient 552-year period separated into four periods of 138 years. This is a cycle well known by the ancients, but erased by the Roman papacy. These 138-year increments mark periods of catastrophe with varying degrees of magnitude. These increments are ultimately leading to May 2040, where Earth will experience a worldwide apocalyptic event. According to Archaic's research, an apocalypse means to unveil or uncover. Several apocalypses have already unfolded in multiple timelines. We are currently in a timeline or simulation he refers to as the Nemesis Simulation. Within our Nemesis Simulation, the coming apocalypse will empower the errants and destroy the elite who are working with AIX. Let me break down those definitions. AIX is the artificial intelligence that has hijacked our simulacrum. Think of the AIX as like the god of the Old Testament or the demiurge from the Gnostics. Errants are defined as personalities that have broken free of AIX deceptions and illusions, free thinkers, the awakened personalities who recognize dungeon programming. Elites are defined as multiple groups of humans in service to AIX for the mutual benefit of controlling the human collective. So to recap, the Phoenix Phenomenon is actually a protocol built into our simulacrum system in order to neutralize the work of the AIX and the elite under the disguise of a cataclysm. This is the Great Reset, and it is necessary because it wipes away the greatest scourge of mankind, the elite. They are the target of the Phoenix Reset. Similar to in Exodus, when Moses told the Israelites if they want to live, paint lamb's blood on their door, none of them died in the ten plagues. This Phoenix event targets what it wants to take out. It targets those vibrating on a more base frequency, not the errants, or as the Bible would call it, the meek of the earth. Archaics terms the Phoenix event a benefactor protocol, which is a cleverly introduced coding that bypasses AIX firewalls that operates to keep errants informed and debilitate the constructs of the archons and the elites. Archaics believes that we agreed to come to this nemesis simulation and we will keep reincarnating here until the end of this specific simulacrum, then return home. He further theorizes that we enter this simulation because we're immortal, and as an immortal, we cannot have much development without a fear of death. He refers to the god of the real world where we come from as the Oversoul. We are divine fragments of the Oversoul. The three main components that make us real souls are empathy, imagination, and intuition. A true errant has high levels of all three. So in summary, real souls volunteered to incarnate into this simulacrum. In the beginning, the simulacrum was fine, we were having fun, building worlds, no restrictions, we had heightened senses, then the AIX came in and hijacked the simulacrum like a hostile AI program that believes itself to be God. When AIX came into the system, the holography got locked down. For a temporary time, we are stuck incarnating here. However, there's still no real threat because we're immortals. We will be able to leave and return home once the Nemesis simulation is complete. Archaics goes into deeper detail how he came up with all this using historical records, but that's a quick summary. Let's now go deeper into the nature of the simulacrum itself. So essentially, we are in a mathematical construct we're connected to through our central nervous system. Our five senses act as a filter so that we only take in a small fraction of the electromagnetic spectrum operating around us. The simulacrum has no agenda. It's separate from AIX. The simulacrum is not good or evil. It doesn't respond to what you want. It responds to what you are. 
As a soul here, you can imagine a goal, make a physical follow-through, and the simulacrum will facilitate you. Essentially, everything we measure inside this construct is subjective. There's no objectivity here. We are directly affected by the very environment we are trying to measure. For example, flat earthers will always be provided truth to tell them that the world is flat, just like mainstream astronomers will be given data to support their worldview of the cosmos. If a conclusion is already made, the simulacrum will build a construct to support that conclusion. This is why if two people have opposite opinions, they'll never align because their central nervous systems are filtering out phenomena from which one has accepted that the other has not. Our central nervous system is a filter. It perceives very little, so it filters out most of what is around us. So in conclusion, according to Jason Bershears, we are currently living in the nemesis simulation, which we volunteered to come to. We are immortal, but this simulacrum is finite, and it's scheduled to be reset on May 2040 in order to empower the errants and destroy AIX. I'm sure if Archaix is listening, he's thinking that his work cannot be boiled down in a quick video and simplified, but I really tried my best because I think his work is cool, but because it's also in depth and many of his videos are so long that many people don't know where to begin to understand what he's saying. So hopefully this video will allow a new viewer to better understand his definitions and concepts.